Looking back through their sales statistics, Warrior Bolts reckoned they fitted more Honda 75 horse outboards to their 165 and Pro Angler Bolts than all other models and makes put together. Obviously, that decision is customer driven. But, with Honda the world's largest engine manufacturer and having specialised in the development of four-stroke outboards, this should hardly come as any surprise. In 2007, the company unveiled its latest version, the BF75. With improved low-down torque equating to seven brake horsepower more than its predecessor, it promised much. But, as with any new engine, you have to ask questions such as, can it deliver, and will it slot in as a direct replacement in terms of weight, balance and propeller recommendations on the 165 and the Pro Angler. Needing to know the answers to these questions, Warrior Co. Director Paul Haynes fitted one to a Pro Angler and invited me along as he put it through its paces. Warrior normally send out the 165 Honda 75 outfits to customers with a 17 inch prop fitted as standard. The main reason for this is that the 17 inch prop delivers the best combination of acceleration, top speed and fuel economy. Trials had shown that a 16 inch prop on the old outfit could achieve more in terms of RPM. But Warrior were reluctant to fit this on the grounds of an extra £300 in pass forward costs, coupled to the fact that impact by the blades with a solid object could result in the drive mechanics or gearbox being damaged, as stainless steel won't dent or break in the same way as aluminium. What you have to bear in mind here is the fact that this particular BF75 was brand new and had not been previously run. Most four-stroke engines normally need around 30 hours of running to operate at their optimum. But in terms of prop size comparison, we still expected to get the right answer. Paul decided that to kick things off, we would run with the previously favoured 17-inch prop. This quickly got us up to 5,600 RPM and a top speed of 38 miles an hour. Hoping to avoid the 16 inch pitch stainless steel version, Paul decided to do the next run on the 15 inch prop. Just why Honda don't produce an aluminium 16 inch prop is anybody's guess, because the market is most certainly there. With the 16 inch prop, we quickly got up to 6000 RPM, but the top speed was down to 34 miles an hour. I have to say, that despite the lack of running in and loosening up, this outfit went quite literally like a bat out of hell. And to think, with ongoing usage, it was only going to get better. A very impressive piece of kit. Equally impressive was another brand new Honda 4-stroke, the 2.3 horsepower auxiliary. I tend to think of auxiliary engines in the 5 to 10 horsepower range and even then worry that they might not cope with the added pressures of wind and tide. This particular test took place in the River Wire estuary at Fleetwood in a brisk northwesterly wind which was pushing down channel in the same direction as quite a powerful tide. Running with the wind and tide, the GPS recorded a top speed of 4.5 miles an hour and against it a very creditable 3.5 miles an hour, which considering the fact that the boat was now displacing water as opposed to skipping over it, is very impressive to say the least. Following the performance of the run with a 17 inch prop, it was decided not to bother with the 16 for the reasons already given. So the package prop for the Warrior 165 BF75 outfit would be the 17 inch. And with the sea trials I just experienced, most definitely a combination that any small boat angler worth his salt would be only too pleased to have. <laughs>